This is the run. This is the run. We have the patience we need. I got some nice cold water. Chilling out. Had a nap. <laughs> I'm energized. We're gonna uh we're gonna just take it steady and win. Oh my god, we have 40 out of 50 cards. That's awesome. Um the main you know what? I, I saw that this game has a Twitch, that Twitch integration mod. I really need to get Dark Zero a Twitch account. But the problem is as as YouTube has all of the subscribers that it's gained over a very long uh history um of, of us uploading you know, just, just game content, even though there was nobody talking, it wasn't like uh, the same kind of content you might expect, you know, like th that I'm making now. It's really just gameplay footage, um, which we still do, by the way. Um, I'm just trying to be a little bit more active um, and, and play some games with some talking in it. I still hate these guys. I will always hate these guys. I think they are terribly designed. But, um, yeah, there's a, there's a Twitch integration, and I... We don't have a Twitch, and we don't have, so obviously we have no subscribers on Twitch. YouTube makes everything so easy, because for one, um, for one, it has, it's, it's attached to YouTube. So as soon as we do a live, it's straight directly available for anybody to watch back, which is really nice. There's no extra effort. And because YouTube is where all of the subscribers are, everybody gets notified as needed, instead of having to... You know, have a YouTube and Twitch, and people need to subscribe to both, and their people are unlikely to do that. But a lot of these games have a lot of these games nowadays. Uh, there's there's a few been a few games over the past few years that have had these Twitch integrations, which seem really cool, and it could be really fun and like uh, you know for the for the community to to join, and it's kind of like a stream uh, streamer slash uh, viewer interaction right it's this kind of fun thing that you have this back and forth and i really like that um i would like to try it so i think i'm gonna try and set up a, a time to maybe do that with dandy ace at some point maybe not this weekend maybe the next weekend the review will probably already be up but it's still a nice thing to do i think and um nope none of those it might still be a nice thing to do uh and i would also like i was actually i was saying this on my celeste video and I don't know which which one will come out first, this one or that one. But basically, there's a there's another Twitch thing about giving away like game code keys and stuff for going live on Twitch, um, because people can get drops, people can get drops on Twitch and they can't on YouTube. So you can't give away like free codes and stuff, which really sucks. Um, and there's there's Quantum League, which is this game that's really really cool. Um, and I highly recommend you go check it out on Steam and see if it's something you might be interested in because it's a small development team in Argentina and they need all the love they can get because they now, they created this awesome concept for a game that's now kind of been stolen by these big, um, these larger game companies with a lot of clout behind them that they can kind of just take the idea, market it a little better um of course because they have the money for it and then they're gonna just like crush quantum league into the dust and it's not even their idea it kind of sucks um that's how i see it. i don't know i mean I, I could be wrong i've said this a few times i could be totally wrong about that maybe quantum league was you know being built in parallel with these other games but i don't know man it's, it's a very unique concept i'd never heard of it before quantum league at all like i wouldn't have even considered it it seems so crazy and it's like this time loop thing um, where what, you, it's like a 1v1 uh, shooter game. You know what? It, it's so annoying. So annoying. But look, it's right there. Now I have to try it. And this is how he died. This is how he died. This is how he died. Um, you know what? Sure. And then we can go, uh, uh. There you go. Double dash. Um, well, it's this, it's this uh, first person shooter, basically. Uh, PvP, 1v1 or 2v2. And you're in an arena. And what happens is you, you kind of have three lives to fight the other person. But when you die, it doesn't end your 
run or whatever. There's like that's not like oh round over. You still do whatever you you want to do. The prop the thing is though, everything that you're doing doesn't affect the game world, so you can shoot the other player and it doesn't do anything. Um, unless you collect like a health kit and come back to life. But then if you go back and it's the second round, the first round, all of the inputs that you did, um, they still happen. They still happen. And, um, oh my god, I hate you. You almost got us. They still happen. And um, the ghost version is that's now like controlled by the CPU because it's just basically recorded all of your actions that you're going to do exactly the same. Um, but then if you can save yourself from being killed by killing the first now bot on the enemy side before they killed you, it's very bizarre. It's hard to explain. Um, then you never died and all of the actions that you did do whilst you were a ghost kind of happened, but for real. We are never going to win this this with a, with a fist run. Oh my god. And that, that time thing. Oh, and then they just jump out of it afterwards. Oh, really bad for us. Uh-oh. Um, get away. And it covers up too much of the enemy. We can't really see when they're going to be attacking and stuff. So we've got to be, like, really wary. Um, we also have, like, one hit and we're dead. But yeah, then it's, so it's got this, like, really weird time loop thing, right? Um, and now a bunch of games are stealing that idea. Uh, a couple of them I've seen. Uh, and it's such a shame. But they, they're having, like, this big giveaway as well, is what I'm trying to get to also on Twitch. And it's, they've got, like, these Steam keys that they're giving away. And I would love to have uh, been able to to help with that, like, stream the game for for one day, like, quite a lot. Just, like, one weekend, you're just streaming for, like, six hours, stream some Quantum League over the weekend, and uh, give away some keys to some viewers. I think it'd be really, really fun. Um, and a nice way to spread the word about, about, about an awesome game. Um, from a small development team, like, say, in Argentina, who it's going to be hard for them to get the love that they deserve, for sure. Oh, my God. Hello. All right. Sometimes, even with the dashes, you can't get away. Uh-oh. And then, um... But yeah, that's uh, that's all on Twitch. Only Twitch has those kind of integrations, and that's really sad. I would I would very much like YouTube to be starting to think about that stuff. But everybody knows YouTube kind of sucks, and it has done for a very long time. It's bad with uh, demonetizing people's videos for no reason, and it's bad with uh, you know copyright is is a really big issue. Um, that's always in the favor of large companies and doesn't help the actual content creators at all. And then there's the advertising issues where people, you just, not only are you demonetized in terms of, you know, you can't make, you, you can't make ad revenue, but then even if you can, they're very funny about the types of videos that do do that because they're looking out for kids and stuff. So if you're making an 18 video, why can they not have 18 plus ads on there? You know what I mean? I, uh, for example, the Beyond, uh, Beyond... Uh, Lust from Beyond, those eight, there's 18 video plus videos, so we don't have any way to monetize them. Why? You think people are still watching them, they have to be 18 and above, but they're watching them, so why not have advertisements for products that are 18 plus? Makes no sense, they just, they just have, honestly, they just love, I feel, to, uh, they're just like running themselves into the ground. People really despise um, YouTube for a lot of reasons, and a lot of them are not unjust, as I'm, as I'm mentioning here. So, it's kind of annoying that we're kind of stuck there, but it's just what we've got right now. We are going to take this, and then we'll do that. That's good. Uh, and then we can do that, whatever, and we can get rid of you. Hi, you! It's good to see you. <laughs> 100% we need that extra life. We are going to die uh, very soon. And then when we do, I'm going to heal. Get me out of here. This is not doing as much damage as I would like from a melee weapon that puts us at huge risk of being really close to these enemies. So we need to level this up real fast for it to be useful at all. Um, we do have a bit of money. We probably need a... 
You see what I mean? There's too much. The the the, the game covers up way too much of its uh of its enemies' attacks with like bright neon. Looks very nice. It does look very nice, but it does not help the uh the actual enemy attack strategies and stuff and the design for the user. Um. Yeah, yeah, I'd like, I would really like to... Be oh, we actually did die, so... Makes sense. Um, I can't believe you did that to us. Teleported away. How dare you? Oh my god. Get me out of here. How did... What was the double dash that we got last time? I can't remember. It, like, gave us two dashes when we equipped it to a dash card. What was that? Was that this? No, of course it wasn't. I need to, uh... I need to find which dash card that was. It was awesome. Gave us, gave us double dashes. I mean, it also sucked as well because, uh, for some reason, if you held in dash for a millisecond, you had to, like, tap like that. Um, or it just used both your dashes straight after each other, which was an absolute freaking nightmare. Totally annoying. Um, no. We'll just take the new upgraded version. So yeah, it was it was kind of not great um, because of the, the control scheme, but, but at least it gave us a double dash and we could get used to it eventually, I'm sure. Even if it was very irritating. Get her. There we are. All right, come in here, little clock boy. What are you doing? Cupcake. Okay, so we're, we're not back at full life, but we're close. We have lost a life, of course. That is not good. But I, I don't. that actually means nothing. What do you mean we've lost a life? We're back to life. So we still need to fill our extra life back up again to use it again. But right now, we are... Looking good. Oh, no. Well, we said we were going to play safe, so goodbye, fists. You are trashed here. Compared. Uh, where did it go? Excuse me? Did it, it reshuffled. Definitely we were stood right here. Are you... Furious is... There, there's no word for how I feel right now. Um, furious is too light of a word. God damn it. <sighs> so we're in, uh, entirely our own fault, fault, but also... How about don't have the reshuffle action directly next to... Like, pixel next to the... Uh, the buy action of a card in the third slot. Why not just have it in a different place entirely, like the side of the caravan? I mean, it's just a very simple design change that would uh, greatly increase the, the, the user experience. Um, but, you know, that's just uh, one, one guy on YouTube's opinion. Although I am kind of a... That is... I, I'm not a designer, but I am a... A developer who, who I am. I, that, is my, that is my career. I'm a developer. And UI UX is, is a really big part of, of what I do. And I know this is game development. Although I did study game development in university. We did uh, video game programming is my degree, actually. Um, although I never have built a, like a, a real video game. Because, to be honest, I think you have to be an insane person to work in video games. If you're as a programmer, because you get worked to the bone. <laughs> Look at what happened with Cyberpunk and GTA and all of these insane... You might get um, two months vacation after a game releases, after six years of working, um, you know, seven to, to, to ten at night. Seven a.m. to ten at night. Um, you might get a nice bonus and some good vacation, but not worth it at all. Game development is is... It's, it's awful. 
working in game development as a developer is is awful unless you're a, you know it's an indie thing are you you're not part of a big corporation and there we go there we go what does this do slows enemies as well that's great so we put you there utility over there we'll get an extra dash we'll put an extra card there eventually but right now we'll keep it how it is we will eat you i'm still very mad about losing the best card but it's okay. um yeah game development is hell so i've never actually used it like that i've always just used it as development i started with mobile app development and now, I just do kind of all sorts, but mostly I work with sales now. Apparently, I was good at talking to people. Ooh, blueprint. Is that a new card? Hmm. That's the problem with some development. Like, a lot of developers who are great are also, like, uh, classic shy guys. You know, like the, the nerd people. Uh, keep your head down like classic nerd head down really quiet i don't think that's what development is these days in fact it's kind of funky it's really cool a lot of people doing a lot of cool stuff these days um and it's a lot more vocal people are you know because it's it's more open being a being a developer is as easy as just going on like udemy and doing a single javascript course when it used to be obviously used to have to kind of get trained into how to develop correctly and now it's not really like that anymore so it's really nice. You can just watch a couple of videos on YouTube and be a, you know, be a full stack developer in, in 20 hours of, of videos. It's, it's crazy. So it's kind of like hip again is programming, which is cool. But still, you can still get a lot of these like classic quiet introverts. And uh, so if you do, if you are not one of those, and I used to be for sure until I, I moved to California and I had this awesome boss who kind of pulled me out of my shell. Um... And that was actually part of my university course as well. Um, but yeah, he really pulled me out of my shell. And then, uh, and but then, if you are good at, at speaking, you kind of get targeted by <laughs> management because they're like, "Oh, okay. Well, that guy can uh, can can sell stuff as well. He can communicate well." So now, um, we're going to rip him out of development, <laughs> what he's good at, and um, put him in sales. And train him there instead. It's a little bit weird, but um, it's kind of fun to be able to do both. It's a little bit annoying when sometimes you don't get a chance to develop for a long time because you're uh, busy with other stuff. But I, li I like it. How did I get? How do? How was I speaking about my freaking career? This was. Uh, I was just talking about develop. Oh, I was talking about UI UX. And UI UX was a big part of mobile development actually, because of course, uh, a lot of applications before like 2007 were just were just trash looking and it really was the iphone and i'm not like a big apple fan i do think they sell very overpriced products and they have some great stuff as well of course but um i do think in general they sell things very expensive just for the uh you know the badge of honor that it is an apple product and i, I dislike that but they are one thing that they used to be really good at anyway was uh User, user, user interface design or user experience design. May not be as true anymore, anymore to be honest. But it's uh, so it was a, it was a big part of mobile development for a long time. Trying to make, whoa, that guy does like bunch of stuff, right? Like it's uh, it's not just a single attack. He like drains you because that's why as as we had the shield on, but it just like instantly evaporated it. Um, we don't want to go to the art gallery because we don't want to fight Axel. You know what? We will fight Axel a little. Whatever. We'll do it. We'll fight him. Right. So we should have got a new card. We should have the shards to unlock it. And then we're just going to keep working on this one. Very slowly. Very, very slowly. Ace attacks with a massive blow. Is it though? Oh. Hmm. The thing is though, this is, is it? 
massive blow because this does almost the same damage and it does a lot of it so i think that that's trash life siphon on hitting an enemy it heals ace The problem is we need the size increase, so we should do it like here. <sighs> hmm. Create a shield. Ignore. It explodes when destroyed. Uh, what I'm thinking is like, if we do this, we can sell this card. Um, I think we do need to do this. Still hit when it <laughs> makes the cards disappear. What do we need? Now I think more than ever we want to change out these hands for the three stars that I just I messed up and re-rolled for some reason, somehow. Um, why? Because we can life siphon with it and then I think we're pretty much invincible. I don't want to say invincible actually because, uh, let's be honest, we're not invincible. But hitting an enemy? Or is it just when you kill an enemy? Because 20 life? Once after on hitting an enemy, it heals Ace. But the effect has cooldown. 10 second cooldown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still. But the problem is the range of this needs to be larger. Or it's basically trash. Because we have to get right up into people's faces. Mechan his way through here pretty convincingly, I'd say. We'll put that down there. We'll heal up a little bit not that we need it. it it takes like 17 seconds to come back which i mean for sure that's what it needed to be because it's crazy but still very interesting we're gonna keep it we're gonna try and make it work 20 health is is not insignificant not insignificant at all i would prefer it to be on the stun card but you know what um, maybe the stun is, is great, but you know what? Maybe this, uh, maybe we should try and use this time slow card instead, because it's a big area, which means we're going to definitely get the siphon off almost every time. And, um, also it w would hopefully work on bosses, whereas stun does not. You know what I mean? So might just be good for us to try this out. Stun is just a dead card on bosses. And the slow does seem to be effective. Slows down projectiles as well, which is nice. Three more enemies and we have his life back. We're already at full life. We're already at full life with two uh, teapots. Tea cups of tea or whatever. We used it. We used... Oh, you know what? Heal me up or whatever. We can't yet. We need four more seconds. Alright. I'm gonna try it. Does it heal me? It just healed me once, even though it hit two enemies. That's okay. That's okay. Maybe that would have been incredible. Because of the slimes would have just like healed us fully. Um, but okay. That's that's great to know. We know we can get a little bit of health back every now and then. It's not like a common occurrence, but you know what? It's it's good to have. It's definitely good to have. Get me out of here. We're just playing it smooth because the shant the little candle boy is there and he's uh keeps trying to blow us up. But I'm watching you. I'm watching my feet. I was talking about mobile development. What the hell why? Adds death weakness. No. Not 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 care about we do not care about our secondary effect. We very much like having a safety cupcake. S S S A A F Safety cupcake, baby. I wonder if anybody is old enough to get that joke. Anybody who is going to be watching uh, YouTube videos of a guy playing Dandy Ace. Hey, is going to get the, the safety dance. Joke. 
Mm. I am I am getting to that stage now. I am I'm 29, turning 30, by the way, very like in a couple of months. And I am getting to that stage where I feel like it's just crazy to me that people don't understand the past or, or where things come from. And people are calling like the Turk dance the the fort it's like a Fortnite dance now and, and it's like that's acceptable for some reason. Even though, you know, they should definitely be sued into the ground, but whatever. Um It's just crazy. Like that's it's, it's bizarre to me. People not understanding like who characters are from things. Um we did die, so we're gonna take this. That's okay. Oh we had a cupcake actually. Um which is silly because we should have we should have done uh, you know what we need both. It's fine. I can't believe that didn't trigger. Are we not were we not like directly on it? We are still fighting with the fists. It's not you know perfect scenario. I do see a shop over there. Don't know how to get to it, but I do see a shop. Alright. Make his way through here very gently, very slowly. Dodging black holes as you do. Oh my god, I always forget. I always forget he has the double strike. He pulls you in and he pulls himself to you. Even when he misses you, apparently, he just teleports to you. Which is what just happened. Um, but then he also does the slam instantly, so that it doesn't really work, just having the shield on. Oh my god, alright. Uh, no, we do want to go around that way. I think we should probably should go back down there as well. Let's be a little bit lazy. Do 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 My god, get me out of here. Mm. These guys are really annoying because like I said, they do they do have the um, because they, they teleport to themselves. They try and hit you with it. It's an attack. But if it misses, they still teleport and slam down as well, which is just absurd. Oh my god. I thought we were going to be okay then and then stupid idiot. Well, at least we had uh, an extra cupcake. I really dislike them. They are very strong enemies. Oh my god. Another one hidden behind the door. Get me out of here. Right. Let's hope this shop is, is good. And if it's not, then we're pretty much done for. And we've got to go all in on these fists. <laughs> which means we're going to spend all this money on these fists. No, his reroll. It's quite a lot, though. And these cards are not very good level. Yeah, because we haven't upgraded it in Nifnir or whatever. So, GG, we lose. We are going to get stomped. Although, this, this should help, hopefully. A little a double. Uh, we just went up two levels, which is pretty great. Hopefully, we'll see a big improvement on damage. I know it's already great for damage. It is good for damage, but the thing is, melee things in this game, the the downside is really seriously outweighs the upside of the damage. Um, being this close to all of these enemies and not being able to even see the ground is massively uh, is is a massive disadvantage, to be honest. So having it be really strong, I think, is, is only uh, a little bit of the help that we need. Oh my god, and then getting attacked off screen. Also doesn't help. Alright, good, good, good. I was gonna say, did that cake just do some the cups or whatever? But no, it's, there must be a, a, a lady over there, yeah. Heal me up. 20 extra heals. It's not the worst thing ever because it's just free heals every now and then. Come on, come teleport. There you go. We got you. We're learning them. We're, we're, we're downloading them. 
Okay, you're dead. Uh, there is another shop here. Interesting. Interesting. Still nothing we want, but uh, nice to see. <laughs> I guess. Um, I suppose we should go to this pink door. 22 minute run. Not, 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 not so bad. It's actually not. It's about a 30 minute run. Um, the game pauses when you're in the shop in the middle. Because uh, that's not part of your run. Although I would say it is. You've got to make decisions. And I think that should be counted towards your time. Because if you're actually trying to beat somebody else's time. Um, and they're making faster decisions than you. I think that should be reflected. But, uh, no worries. Yeah, I would really like to try the, the Twitch integration. I actually don't know what it does. I saw Dan Giesling playing with it. Which is awesome. So I might have to watch that video. See what's going on. Also, you know, Dan Giesling, so you know that's going to be great content. He's, he's a very entertaining person. Um, and it's funny, he used to be really bad at, like, everything he played. And now he's, like, pretty great. Um, now he's, like, pretty great, so that's really funny. Curse. Well, these ones down here are Hex, and the Hex damage is quite a lot. Curse isn't that much. Although it does all happen in one big chunk, I guess. Ah, whatever. Watch out for these guys teleporting. We know it's coming. There we go. You nearly got me because something was popping up. That's another card. I can't see anything. When... Okay. It's another card, though, so that's 42 out of 50 if we can survive this, which, I mean, it's only this one last little area, I suppose. We have pretty decent life. Pretty decent life, if you ask me. You know, if we wanted to be really, like, really, really uh, patient, we could just, like, run away, wait 17 seconds for the... For the heal to, to come back on the uh, the time spiral. And then do it one by one on each of these enemies. We're not going to do that because I'd rather die. <laughs> Incredibly boring. But it's, a, it's, it's there as a strategy. If you get like really close to the end and you just need some extra. A little extra boost. It is, it is a possibility. We did want to go to Axelangelo's. There we go. Nice. All right. Uh, we're not fully ready for this, for sure, because we do have... Um, we don't have the extra life available. This is going to take us for bleeding ever to get this extra card. Wait a minute. We've already got this. It can be three different options. Oh, I didn't even want that. This is not even worth it. Free reshuffle might be nice. That's what we should be aiming for. What am I doing? Damn it. Um, throws mystical chains. Reactivating skill. Teleports. Yes. Okay. Well, I guess if it would, I would teleport to the chain. That's pretty great, but also no. <laughs> because it's going to drop us right into the middle of some freaking guys. But the damage is pretty nuts. Um... But also binds enemies? Oh, I don't know, you know. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, but I, I think it's not for us. What about death bind? No, death bind's not great. And we'll get the most expensive one of these. Whichever, it doesn't matter, apparently. You. you. Um, melee attacks, I guess. Just take less damage. That's what we need. <clears throat> We've heard you. We've heard you. Slow doesn't affect bosses either. So actually, we can take stun if we really want. It's a bit annoying that slow doesn't affect bosses. Seems a bit arbitrary, but sure. I do get the heal from it though. 20 every, you know, two two minutes. Are 
You're not gonna dash at me? I thought you I thought you dashed at me. Uh oh. There you go, there's the dash. We're just gonna be patient. There we are. We gotta go. Just take him down. You can mech. We can mech quick work of him. Come on. Just slowly does it. Slowly does it. Don't need anything special. Get these blobs over here. Okay, he's splashing quite a few of them. And then we can always use the shield if we think we're not going to get out of the way. Alright. Hey, yo. Use the shield because we weren't going to be able to escape that one. That's great use of us, uh... Give me the extra health, why not? It's, I mean, it's not even an extra hit, but... Added together throughout the entire fight is an extra hit. Which is, you know, it's, it's better than nothing, I guess. Alright. Well, we don't like this middle area anymore. Use my shield. That's good. We got his life. We're just going to uh, finish you off, boy. There we are. All right. All right. We're through the first area. We've never got to Severino even on very hard. So, uh, Trump card. That is, that is level nine. God damn. That is really strong. Wow, honestly, I think we have to go with that for now. Just until we can level up Flurry of Blows, but um, until that, we need to put Flurry of Blows somewhere else. Um, it's it's difficult. Maybe we can do this and make it a size increase. That's probably the best thing to do. Um, yeah. Yeah. If that does that much damage, it's probably... It's worth taking with us. Um, increase your card's maximum thing. Okay, well, that is already insane. Yeah, the damage there is crazy. But the damage here... Well, we do have 8,000. Might as well do it. We need more money, but we can't even do it yet. 120. There, we do need to level this up. It sucks. Unfortunately, you only get to see this guy after boss fights for some reason. I don't, don't know why they would do that, but sure. Um, and we are not going into the grassy labyrinth. We will be going to the normal, what's it called? Guest lounge. Uh, even though the guest lounge has vampires, which I absolutely despise. Um, we can hopefully... Deal with them. There it is. There it is. Only 171. Um... I think we've got to, haven't we? Flurry of Blows is actually kind of working this time, though. Do I really just want to get rid of this? Oh, well, here's the decision. What are we doing? Are we playing this range game? And just going for the win. I said my patience. I said I really want to win this time. To win, I think the best thing we can do is probably... Is probably the stars that explode. You know what? Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. If we die, I'm going to be livid. I just, it, it's kind of working out. It worked out even on the boss, though. Do you know what I mean? That's that's the tell-all. That's the... The trump card was pretty amazing, the damage. But um, the fists are so much faster than it. And they already do a lot of damage. And the range, because we do have the extra range, it's actually not so bad. And I really still want to get a win with something that's not those that, that star card, to be honest. So here's his chance. 
We're trying to not have the stun. We've got a different dash, although I would get rid of it and it, drop it in an instant for a blink card. Um, we decided not to go that way because there... What the hell? Excuse me. Okay. Because there is a, a bomb guy. Get me out of here. Hello. Oh, hello. There are two of you. There's one of you somewhere else. We, that was some incredible dodge work. I'm not going to lie. That, 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 I, made, I made myself proud there. We really got through that. Get out of here. Give me that cupcake. What is this? Uh, no. You know what? That's the one. That's the one. Dash, dash. Are you sure to tap? Be sure to really tap, because otherwise... It goes. It goes way too fast. Give me that life. Get out of here. Um, we probably are going to get a second cup of tea before Sever... Is Severino straight after this, or is it another floor? I can't even remember. I think it is Severino. I would like to make it past Severino, at least. Even if we die to Lele... Lele. I would very much like to beat Severino. He's a, he's, a, he's a simple boss, to be honest. He's not a great threat. You see? I hate those guys. I hate them. He just jumped right into the time. With a bit of a mind flip. You're into the time slip. I hate you. You just Look at the, the, the speed of that. No build-up, it just happens underneath you and just does 666 damage. Like, instantly, you've just taken 24 damage. No way to know what's going on even a lot of the time. You've got to you've got to think faster than the game can even render the thing. It's crazy. That guy, you see how he drops in? It's a circle and you're like, all right, I've got a little bit of time to escape. The vampire's like, nah. Nah, bro. Got you. I got you. Um, there we go. Come here. We're going to get you in this. Excellent. We've got a, a spare cupcake. We've got a safety cupcake. S, 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 A, 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 L, L, L. Okay. Making his way through. Slowly, 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 slowly. Amazing. We got another chomp. We did it. It's, it's max for now. Look at that, though. It goes up an extra 1,300. It goes up again after Severino. So now we're saving up. And that was 11,000. So I'm assuming the next one's going to be like 13, 14, maybe even higher as 15,000. So we want to be trying to just save, 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 save. We're not going to try and upgrade the rest of these cards because, um, once again, one of the things I don't like about Dandy Ace is... Uh, it doesn't make the utility cards better at being utility cards. It just gives them a little bit of extra damage, which I think is super lame. Uh, super lame way to upgrade a card. Just eh, a bit of extra damage. Double dash, baby. Double dash, baby. It was, oh, God, it hit us. Give me that health. We've got a cupcake. We've got a, a spare large cupcake now. Although, I think I will go back and, and scram this one real quick. There we are. We'll go into here because I already saw it's like a, a golden area. Look at the range though. Look at the range. I'm looking at my feet. I I, I look. I was looking at my feet and I still didn't see it. I, I remembered like, oh, I need to look because that guy's up there. Looked at my feet, nothing, and then I got hit. Oh, excellent. Okay. Uh, yeah. Too much stuff going on on the floor. Enemy attacks need to be immediately obvious, please. Immediately obvious. Over the top of everything else and very clear. Uh, very clear. And that doesn't mean you can't make the game look nice. I'm, that's not what I'm saying, by the way. There are ways to do both. Look at that. Like, ha I actually was dashing as well. What do you expect from me? Stupid vampires. They're the worst enemies. 
They make absolutely no sense. Um, I will be getting rid if we this is what we're going with, then I will be getting rid of these three stars if we see another one of these shield cards. Because if you equip a shield card to a, a shield card, it oh well there's the mirror down there, and there's something up there. Let's go through this pink door first then. If you add a shield card to a shield card, what it does is um just die. Die. Nice. Um it gives you invulnerability for like 1.5 seconds or something after using it. It's pretty crazily good. Look at that. Like, there's no... You can't avoid the damage. It's... I, that's a stupid enemy attack. The vampires are by far the worst things. They are completely unavoidable. What are you? What are you? Jump square. Jump square? Blinks forward, scaring enemies away. Very sad. That, um... That will also not really affect bosses, will it? We know that for sure. But, could be good. It is a blink. The trail of fire is nice. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm, I'm, I've got to be, uh, I've got to be focusing on upgrading. Whoa, the damage from this thing. That's all we want to focus on, to be honest. Everything else doesn't improve utility. It adds a little bit of extra damage. So, if we were going to add extra damage, the best way to do that is to just focus on your main card. That, that's what I'm saying. That's why it's weird that it doesn't improve utility, because... Otherwise, there's no real reason to upgrade those cards. I can upgrade the top, the main card that I have and do an extra 1,300 damage per punch. Have you seen how fast I'm punching? 1,300 damage per attack. Look at that damage. Imagine an extra 1,300 every time that happens. Look at this. Done. Done. 1,300. 1,300. Extra. Or you can get a little bit extra from all of your other cards as well. There's, I just, I don't get it. I don't see why would you would do that to yourself. That's a scary area. This is a scary area. Not really liking any of this right now. I think we go here first. I like areas we can escape from. I am stuck on a freaking vampire portal. I hate them so much. They do it from way, 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 way off screen. And they do it, even if you know it's coming, you, they can they still hit you because it's so fast. So, screw you. Give me my life. There we go. Ooh, a chest. What could you be? Garbage. Get me out of here. Right, send me to... The mirror first. So that... If it really comes down to it, one of the other areas nearly gets us. We do have an extra life, and we can use a cup of tea if we absolutely have to. I would very much like not to have to do that. Why am I slowed? Did I get hit by one of those purple things? Um, okay. Two down. Once, once you kill like a single enemy, it makes the, the entire room so much easier. It's, it's, obviously, there's, there's just less to deal with. Every enemy that you kill just makes the room easier. So it's, it's, sometimes it's better to just, just try and get as much done with that first slow or whatever as you can. What are you going to be? Blink forward. Honestly, I think the blink is just outright better. I think it has to be. That's what we have to do. We're on the mirror. What we can do is go back here. Before we go into these death traps. I'm very, very worried about this. We just did the double dash. You know what? Maybe it's the blink cards that do the double dash. I haven't really had a tr had trouble with it. On the other card, right? I didn't really have trouble with it on the other card. I need to be using my shield more as well. I'm really not, not using it as much as I should be. All right, we've done it. Another room down. Give me some more money, money. Uh, last room. Honestly, that is just a, a normal room. I'm, I'm going. What is the point of dying on a stupid trap room like that? This entire run just gets yeeted to the curb. Nah. Nah, we're not doing that. We're making an informed decision to get the crap out of there. 
lucky for me. Free reshuffle is what we want. So in the future, hopefully it's one per shop, right? 933, 933. Well, whatever. Um, might as well keep these on for now. So it's not Severino yet, is it? No, it's the Palace shop because Severino, um, we can get a heal before it. I know. I know for a fact. Oh my god, I'm trapped. That's why you need the blink. That is why you need the blink. That saved us. I was like, I can't get out of this, but then the blink. I don't think so, but if you... You freaking loser. Uh-oh. I'm gonna go kill you first then, I guess. Wow, you, why'd you get knocked back? I don't have a knockback deck. Very nice. Good work. The less vampires, the better. How about no more vampires? We do hate those teapots, but um, vampires are still the worst things ever. Whoa, we gotta watch out. Oh my god, what happened? Oh yeah, they shoot out these little pink things everywhere and you can't, you can barely see them. That's something to watch out for. At least we know that they do that and they are avoidable. Unlike the vampires, like it's a fast attack and it's very sneaky. But we... And then you just get hit off screen by some total douchebag, of course. Get me out of here. This music's dope. This is great. It's a stupid dope mix. Wow, why is it so quiet for you guys? Why is, why is OBS barely pumping this music out? I'm turning this up. Like, really turning it up. Hopefully it's not, like, way overpowering now, but that's that's a good beat. All right. Oh, almost, you little loser. Almost got us, but we ain't that slow. I saw you. Oh my god, I thought you were... Oh my god, you. Okay, we need... Give me a cupcake, please. Go to hell. Oh, it's a shop. Oh, it's a shop. Oh my god, what level are you? Hey. And you're only 9920? So we're... Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. We're going with a fist. Stop. No, 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 no. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to trick me. We've got the life siphon still. Um, we don't have the free reshuffle. Where is the upgrade? Oh, it's right here in the middle. 14,697. And now we do some serious damage. Okay, so we actually don't need to do these areas. As long as we don't go into trap rooms, I think we're okay. I don't want to get trapped into little corner rooms again. I can handle pulling these guys out one by one. I'm not going to go into any trap rooms if I can avoid it. The teapot's there. I can see it. And because our attack is pink and his attack is pink, it's... It's very easy to get confused. With those tiny little... Those things that he sends out at us. I hate you. You're annoying as hell, boy. Okay. Let's try and do this without breaking these pots. That'd be good. Oh, well, we broke one of them. That's okay. Nice. <sighs> these are just to, like... Fill us up for the end game, right? But actually, all we're trying to do is get a bunch of money. Because even though we can't upgrade it right now, we're going to upgrade it after the boss. And we might need all the money we can get. But I would also like to see if we can't get a shield, an extra shield card. Wow, that dash killed that guy. I'm watching you. Oh, we got a cupcake. We got a cupcake. Life saver. Life saver. Go, go, go. You know what you guys call lifesavers in America, by the way? If there's any Americans watching, we call polos. I don't know why. Not not like, I, I mean the candy. The candy. I mean like the mints. I mean, actually, we have polo mints and you have lifesaver mints, but then you also have like the colored ones, which are like more like candy than mints. And that's like, um, 
we did have those for a while, like the the. In fact, you know what? I don't even know if polos exist anymore. I don't even know if polos exist anymore. Because we also we're not going into that room. Um. We also used to have like a coloured version of polos, like the lifesavers, like the not the gummy ones, but you know the round like. You suck them, but they're more like sweets. They're more like a sweet instead of mint. I used to have those when I was young. But uh, I don't know what happened to them, because I haven't been back to the UK for a long time. I can't remember. Okay, this is a bad room. This is an awful room. We're going to try and bring this kettle all the way out here. Yeah, it's dead. Okay, we we're safe to go in. It dropped a cupcake as well, so it made it even safer. You know what? Why don't you give me 20 life? Thank you. Alright. We're taking it nice and steady. That thing's dead. Okay, we can kill this thing. I don't even know what these ones do. I don't even know what the purple and the red ones do, to be honest. But I know that they're not good. Give me that life, baby. Alright. There's another golden part up here. There's another shop. It's a cupcake shop. And we already have a cupcake here. And we already have full life. Although we are going to be healing up after this level anyway, because... I want the second tea bag or whatever before the boss, just in case. You know what? Yo, oh my god, no. I wouldn't say we need to kill that guy first, but maybe we actually need, need to kill the teapot, but actually no. I think the, the candles are very scary. It's very easy to not see them. To not see their attacks. Whereas the teapot is, is huge and it has a very clear line of attack. All right, it used both of us dashes again. That wasn't me. Give me that extra life. It used both of us dashes again. I've got to be more careful. All right. Sick. Whoa. Is that thing hitting us through the wall? That pot that we broke? That sucks a little bit. Oh, my God. Die. Oh, there's an extra. Oop. Extra room of them, obviously. Let's see what you are. Oh my god. It is tempting, man. It's tempting to put, like, here. Deathbind. No, it's not that tempting. Empower magic. It's tempting to put, like... It's so much damage. It just can't be ignored. It's so much damage. Just doesn't fit anywhere. Because it has to be a main thing. We can't obviously replace the dodge or our main attack. That's just stupid. We can't really replace this, and we can't really replace this. So we just say bye-bye to it, but we say we say it sadly, because I would very much like to try the card out. But it also teleports us into the middle of a group of enemies, which is terrible. Even though it binds them, it doesn't stun them. If we added, if we had a stun card to put as a secondary effect, and it replaced the bind with stun, so we could throw it at an enemy, do a bunch of damage, teleport right into the center of them, doing more damage, and then stun them all? Insane. Insane value, but that's not currently what we have, so uh, not insane value. Let's go up here and get a, get a finder's path out. Wow. We need to not, like, stick on corners, because enemies can throw stuff over the map, obviously, at us. So we need to not be around corners like there. That's dangerous, because the guy could hit us from off screen. Like a, a ranged person. And we'd get hit off screen. So we need to actually position ourselves like that. You just jumped right into it, didn't you, you big Deloitte? <laughs> Oof. You know, I said I felt the win, and I'm not calling it right now, but uh, I feel good. Uh oh. No! I, I dashed away from that. He still got me. Unbelievable. Right. Yes, give me that life. Okay. What's going on up here? One of you. Total douchebags. I like to see that you get poisoned in the in the pot juice as well.
Hmm. I don't know what they... Oh, I think those explosions are what the... That's what happens. That's all that thing does, that tower. It just makes them explode on death. It's garbage. That's garbage. All right. Uh-oh. I wanted to try and get it with the... Uh... Well, it didn't trigger it anyway, which is nice. Okay, well, this is a trap room down here. Let's just activate the teleporter. And then we'll go over here and do this one. And honestly, if this is the mirror, we might just leave. See, that's why we don't hang around corners. That's why we don't hang around corners. What am I looking at now? I think I can get this... Uh, yep. Reach that. I'm looking at the map for where the enemies may be. That looks like another turret. Yep. Some more enemies as well, though. Get stunned or slowed or whatever and get killed. You. You. Nice. And then finish you off. Lovely. Alright. What are you? You are 764 smack rooms. Okay, we've got to uh we've got to go into a trap room here. Not great. Uh, you know what? I knew it was gonna hit us, but it's still incredibly dumb. Like if you don't agree with me, I just I just I don't know what's wrong with you. Like, it's a very stupid thing that those those heads have no way of kind of showing the range that they're going to attack you in. And they can attack you no matter what you're doing kind of thing. This was an awful room. This is why we don't go to trap rooms. Please don't put me in any more trap rooms. I just want to leave now. I want to be healed fully for the boss. And I want to have two... Screw you, dude. Um, I want to have two healing items. Oh my god. Ah, <sighs> dear. Use my shield to get him. Okay, we're good. Oh, we're not good. Give me the life and die. Right, one more. Who, what are you? One of these boys. Oh my god, we got hit by a pot. What am I doing? And one of you. Alright, please no. Not more trap rooms. I honestly might have to go back and buy one. Buy a cupcake. I don't think it's the, wor oh, the worst use of his money. We didn't get hit there, but I was very lucky not to. God, dead. Yeah, there's a turret there. We can reach from here. Oh, that's 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 another that's an aura field thing. That's another turret. That's good. That's a healing item. <laughs> that guy just healed us. So there's a healing enemy. You gotta appreciate that. Used the shield very well there, even though we got away with a nice dodge. I can't believe it. We, of course, we're going to have to go through that stupid area now. It's going to be the death of us, man, I swear. Send me back to this shop. Oh, there's a cupcake right here, actually. Although, maybe it's not enough. Send me back to the cupcake shop. Oh, my God. So expensive. I'm not doing that. I can't do it. I can't bring myself to pay that much. Oh my god, the, the pot. The, we actually got got by the pot. I feel like sometimes when I'm locking on, I'm, I'm not locking on, but I'm using the, well, I'm using the D-pad actually. But um, I feel like the game is like auto-targeting me towards pots sometimes instead of the enemies, because it is kind of locking to enemies. Maybe it's just because it's, it's the eight directions, I guess. And I'm uh, bad at it. Okay. All we need to do is not die. <laughs> Easier said than done. Right, is there another room of them? No, we good. It looks like there might be another trap room here. No, it's the end. We're going. There's another room down there, which I do not care to look at. Get me out of here. We're going to go fight Severino. Big, big things happening.
big things happen. It's now 10 past 12 at night. It is now Friday morning. Okay, this is taking forever. We can finally put you up, get you done. That's excellent. Free rush shuffle two. Absolutely leave me alone. You know what? I guess I got to put you in something. Uh, it's all trash, to be honest. I just, just, just give me a, got to get all this stuff now, I guess. We are going to take you. That's great. We are going to keep the trinkets on that we have. And we're going to go fight the boy. This guy has a lot of dashes, so it's good that we have two dashes. All right. It'd be great to be able to slow you, but obviously, screw us. And if we can't get away on the... Maybe he does three dashes eventually. Is that what he does? We always have the shield. This is the worst thing. These are, these are awful. I set him on fire, I think. I don't know if it actually affects him or not. That's, that's the problem. Oh my god. Uh, excuse me? Uh, no. Uh-oh. What are you doing? What is this nonsense? I'm out of the range and he keeps pulling me back. Not like that. Get me out of here. Oh my god, get me out. Get me out of here. This is hell. This is a bad fight. I, I, that range, man, I'm trying to dash away from it and it still keeps getting me. We have one cup of tea left. Oh my god. Oh, bloody hell. There's a lot going on on this fight. I managed to shield him then and he took a bunch of damage, which was great. Oh my god. Ah. You know what? Heal me up. I'm dead. I, I'm stuck in a corner. There we go. I, I come on. I'm dashing away. It's it's too wide of an angle. I can't believe you would do this. And then it one hit me. I can't believe it. It's gonna kill me. What is going on? Please, someone explain how I'm supposed to avoid all this. Okay. I think a big complaint is that enemies don't get don't get stunned and stuff, and I think that's that sucks. But um, ow, that that is a hard fight. That hard, he was the easiest boss by a by a landslide. Oh my god, my eyes. He was an easy boss, the easiest by a landslide. But that is just hell. Like I was dashing away and he kept sucking us in and doing a bunch of damage. That was really awful. Um, we got really far. I think we did really well. The th Thing is, I don't know if we're going to be able to beat Lele because he has even more crap just flying around. Uh, and this game is weird because it's very much bad at, like, allowing you to be, you know, dodge all of that stuff. Um, because a lot of the time you need to dash uh, and, and you don't always have it. Or, or the area is a little bit weird or it, it's strange. It's strange, honestly. Maybe it's, it's just like I feel like sometimes I would be... Instead of being a utility, it should just be another dash card. And then we can have four dashes. That's honestly, it's it's crazy. But um, we got pretty far furthest we've been. It was a good run. And we did it with the fists as well. That's the main thing. We did it with the fists.
maybe we would have won with the three stars, but I think we can, I, I think we did, uh, we did really well there. Anyway, that's another Dandy Ace video down. Like I said, this video, this is, uh, this video will probably be going up way after the review is, um, but it's Friday technically right now, and I'm probably be writing the review today. So, uh, uh, that might be the end of Dandy Ace or, or near enough the end of it, but I would very much like to do that Twitch integration and have a couple of runs one weekend. Um, but I'm going to see if we can get, if we can't get a Twitch self for Dag Zero first, but until then, thanks for watching and catch you next time. Bye.